days. So in a few days, there will be Halloween. So I have three crafts for you guys. Um, so the first craft, what you will need is a pumpkin. And they're just selling these at Walmart. I got mine at Walmart. And there I picture to fly. Okay, and I was grabbing out Sharpies, but I actually found out that Sharpies, like since the pumpkin is slippery, they don't stay on that well. So I actually tried it and it's okay, but I would recommend acrylic paint instead. Okay, so I'm starting with a black marker and I'm just making some shapes. I decided to make shapes, um, like some Halloween shapes, because I wanted to draw my sister's cat, Scratch, but since pumpkins have those little, like, line things, I probably thought that, you know, I couldn't really do that that well. So instead, I decided to do little shapes and figures that have to do with Halloween. Okay, so let me explain all the little things. So we have some purple stripes going down, just thought that would be cute. And then some cute little pumpkins on a pumpkin. I just thought that would be also another cute thing. And then we have some spiders, and yes, all of them have eight legs. And right beside it, I thought that spider webs would be good. And then over that, it was supposed to look like slime, but it doesn't really, so I guess it just kind of looks like blobs. This one was supposed to be a witch, um, but yeah. Then there's some more green stripes, and this is one of my favorites. It's an, some eyes. And then we've got some teeth, but they look droopy. I, I don't know. <laughs> so sorry you can't see it. And then we have a cute little cat. Okay, so for the next craft, you will need a paper roll, a paper roll, and we are going to make like a little candy holder that you can give to friends. Then you'll need a stapler. And the next thing you will need, sorry, I'm just getting it out of the bag. You'll need um, acrylic paint, and you'll need yellow, white, red, then you'll need water and a paintbrush. And also, sorry, my hands are dirty. <laughs> and of course, some candy. And also, I would not use chocolate or something that can melt, something that has like a wrapper on it as well, but yeah. Okay, so how you're gonna make it look like a candy corn is first you're gonna staple one side. Okay, so then you want to put in your candy because there'll be no other time to do that. Okay, so then you're gonna pinch it the exact other way so it looks like a triangle. And here we go again. That's very unsatisfying. Okay, please don't pinch your fingers. Okay, so now it should look something like this. And I don't know why I put back the paints, but I guess we're gonna open them again. Okay, so I forgot how a candy corn looked like, and I started painting it orange, like the top of it. So I had to change that slowly. And I had to wait a lot of times for it to dry.
Okay, so I finally got it into a nice yellow, and now you can paint the orange. <laughs> and while I'm working, I uh, am quite messy, so make sure to do this in a place that you can get messy if you are like me. And you have to wait for that to dry. I think it's really cute. And I'm just cleaning up here. Okay, so the third craft, you'll need flour or any other like rice or something. Then you'll need a small bottle. I only have a big one, so yeah. Okay, then you'll need again Sharpies. And you'll need a spoon. And you'll need a balloon. Oh, I just knocked down the can. Okay. And you'll need the next craft. I kind of had to make a replica because the footage got, um, I think, deleted. Um, but I think it looks pretty good. And so what you're going to do is you're going to take your paper and make it into like a little cone shape and put it on your bottle. I had to cut it so you could actually see what I was doing. And then you need, of course, your flour, and I needed to get a little spoon. And if you're using a spoon like mine, I would use about four spoonfuls. And yeah, you can, as I said, repeat that. Okay, so now you want to take your balloon, and I was just stretching it, so you can do that if you want as well. Okay, and then you want to blow it up. So why you want to blow it up is because it's way easier, I found out, to blow it up than stuff it down a very small um you know neck of the balloon and then you're just going to attach it to the neck of the bottle and shake it down and yeah this works way easy and yeah that's already done with that part which is really cool and then you just want to slowly let the air out not too fast because the flower might come with it and i was already having so much fun with it that um this happened so yeah that you you better watch out for that because it is a very fun toy, but you do not want to play with it too much before it's tied. So I just had to clean that up. And also, doesn't this look like flour? I just thought that was kind of funny. Okay, so I had to blow, blow it up again because there was too much flour and be on it to decorate it if you'd like. And yeah, that's a really fun one. I hope you guys liked that. I really like these ideas. I think for the pumpkin, you can have a little decoration. And for the squishy ghost that I made, well, it's kind of a squishy. Um, I hope you like this just so you have something to do when you're bored. And then a little prize or present for your friends for Halloween. I was about to say Christmas. Um, but yeah.